Hey everybody, Patton here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to play Virtual Boy games on your classic system. I actually used to have one of these when I was a kid. I got it for Christmas. There's like barely any games in the entire library, so it's actually easy to put all these games on your system. So the first step is to make sure that your system is hacked. I'll leave my tutorial in the description for you to watch on how to do that. After you've hacked your system, open up your HackChi CE program, go to the Modules tab and then the HackChi Mod Store. First go to the RetroArch tab and download the newest version of RetroArch Neo which is 1.7.3b. Just hit the button right here, it'll say download module. Then we're going to go to the RetroArch Cores section. The core we're looking for is Mendefin Beetle Virtual Boy. Once again you're just going to hit this download module button and that'll install the core to your HackChi program. We're going to close this window Go back to your modules tab and install extra modules. If you haven't already installed RetroArch, put a check mark next to RetroArch Neo and also a check mark next to Virtual Boy. Then hit this OK button. A bar will appear on your screen and once it fills in all the way, it means that these cores have been installed to your system and they're ready to go. The next step after installing the core is to add the games to your HackChi program. You just go to the Add More Games button down here in the bottom corner. You're going to navigate to the folder where your Virtual Boy ROMs are. We're going to take a look at Panic Bomber and Wario Land. Just hit the open button and they'll be added to the top of your list in HackGCE. We're going to Google some box art real quick by hitting this Google button. There we go. And once again, there's no messing with the command line. It's been filled in already for us. So the last thing we have to do is hit this synchronize selected games button right here. That's going to transfer these games from our PC to our classic system. So we're going to head over there and take a look at these Virtual Boy games. Starting with Panic Bomber, this was actually one of two games that I owned for the Virtual Boy when I first got it years ago. So obviously we're not going to get the 3D effect, you know, using an emulator, but ooh, this black and red is really not easy on the eyes. So you can see what they were trying to do with the 3D stuff, how the balloon just like floated to us. So this is just your basic puzzle game, nothing, nothing interesting. I am not good at puzzle games. They are probably my least favorite type of game to play. So the games play fine, there's a little bit of audio stuttering, but it's not too bad. The games are completely playable, just every once in a while you hear a little skip, and it's not even all the time. Sometimes you get the audio issues, sometimes you don't. There was one issue, I'm not sure if what, it, what the problem was, if it was a core or what, but for some reason um, the sound went out when I was playing a Virtual Boy game, and it was out everywhere. In the core, in my, S my SNES Classic menu, I couldn't get the sound back for anything, so I'm not sure why that happened. But it did happen twice while playing this core, so that could happen to you. If that does, all you have to do is restart your system. Actually, ironically, last time I played this, I did have this sound stutter, so who knows why it's happening this time. It's emulation. Oh, there's a big bomb. What does that do? Well, I guess we won't find out. I actually won. Moving on to Wario Land. And these games don't look half bad. When you had the original Virtual Boy, it, it was it was hard too, to watch it for more than like 15 minutes I think I want to say it was kind of rough but if you've ever been curious on you know virtual boy games since there there wasn't a lot and the system wasn't that easy to find here you go try it on you on your classic system so now we have a higher powered hat we're just gonna shoulder check these guys jump into the background there oh 3d effects not too bad back this way to grab this key. Not really sure what that's for. A little bit of slowdown in this game. And this core, for me at least, I haven't had the same experience every time I've ran it. Like the last time I played this, there was no music stuttering, there wasn't slowdown. It sounds like there's some slowdown. I didn't have that before. Okay, and I think there we go. End of the level. So there you go, Virtual Boy games on your classic system run pretty well. Sometimes you have those sound skips and sometimes a little bit of slowdown. But overall, the core works really well. Make sure you keep coming back. I'm going to have a lot more things to show what you can do with your classic system. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, if you want to contact me outside of YouTube, feel free to use any of these social media platforms. Also, while you're here, why don't you check out some of the other videos that I put out. And if you feel like it, subscribe to the channel.